If you've been using a built-in laptop webcam and have always wanted to connect a nicer camera to talk to people or to stream on the internet, then this video is for you. Welcome back folks, my name is Hassan and in today's video we'll be checking out how do you use your mirrorless camera as a webcam. Let's get into it. There are multiple ways to use a camera as a webcam. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a video capture card to do just that. The video capture card that I'll be using is the Elgato CamLink 4K. Now this video is not sponsored by anyone. I've purchased all these things myself. I happen to like Elgato products just because of their high build quality and from, for the most part, they are plug and play. The only issue I have with them that I can think of is they're a bit on the more expensive side as you know compared to their competitors. This thing looks like a USB flash drive. It has a HDMI port on one side and a USB-A on the other. It also comes with this extension cord for the USB. The best part about it is that it is plug and play. The computer will recognize it as a video source with whatever software you're using without installing any additional drivers. Once you connect a HDMI source, then a white light will turn on and you're good to go. I have used this with OBS, Google Meet, Camtasia, FaceTime, and QuickTime without any issues. It just works. I generally like Elgato products. I've used the Stream Deck XL, their Key Lights, Key Lights Air. I've used their green screens. I've used their video capture cards. And I'll probably be making separate videos on those. The first thing that I'll make sure of is that the camera has a clean HDMI output. Now, if you look at the video right now that's coming from my camera, you can see all sorts of stuff here and I just need to get rid of these things. Now to do that, at least in Sony, you go to menu or at least in the A6400, you go to the last tab or the second last tab setup and in that go to page number four where you have HDMI settings. Now the A6600 or the A7 series might have it on a different page or a tab but this is the A6400. So I'm just gonna go to the HDMI settings and the HDMI info display, turn this to off. Now that you set your camera to a clean HDMI output, this is good to go. Now that the camera is connected to the computer via the CamLink 4K, let's see how we can use it in different applications. I'm going to open OBS first. Inside OBS, if I add a new video capture device, it automatically detects my CamLink 4K. Set the resolution to, I'm gonna set it to 1080p for now. And it works. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I can move the camera around. Hello. And it is, it, it's working. And I can now stream using this higher quality video. It works perfectly fine. The other application that I can try out is Google Meet. Um, so if I go to meet.new, yes, allow, and all right. So it automatically picked up the camera, but if I go to settings, go to video, it also detected the camera and I can talk to people, have meetings using a high quality camera instead of the webcam. If you do live streaming or video conferencing, then you should really check out the CamLink 4K doesn't have to be the same product, but this kind of thing will allow you to connect a real professional camera and lens to your computer and make you stand out from the crowd when doing live streaming or video conferencing. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what kind of camera or a webcam do you use for live streaming or video conferencing. See you in the next video. Cheers. Welcome back folks. My name is Hassan and today...